Hey there internet. So today's video is going to be actually a flashback video. I actually shot this vlog back when I was in New York with my brother. And so we had a fun day together. He's about to have a kid. So it's like today's video, not too special. We did get to check out Sleep No More. Amazing immersive experience. I highly suggest you check it out in New York if you ever get a chance. Totally worth the money in my opinion. Also getting ready to plant some new stuff in the garden today. So anyway, if you don't really like flashback vlogs, uh, they're just like about my personal life, maybe, I don't know, skip and watch the one tomorrow. But uh, yeah, that's what today's all about for me. And uh, it's always fun looking back on those memories with my brother. So anyway, enjoy. Hey there, internet. So I'm in New York City today with my big brother, Jeff. And uh, we're walking around. We're gonna go see a play tonight called Sleep No More, which is an interactive version of Macbeth. And it's pretty crazy in the city. France just won the World Cup, so everyone's like yelling, super excited. So one of the cool things they do here is you can actually like try on these traditional Russian hats. You a picture of their glasses, yeah. Oh, the light, like a brother, over here. Yeah. Real Russian picture. Thank you very much. So, is this taking the picture or? So, we're now in an Uber in Times Square about to head to Chelsea Market. So, we made our way to the Chelsea Market. And we're going to explore this art exhibit called Island. I don't know what exactly it is, but we walk inside and it's like a nice island environment. And it's got... Oh, feel, feel the material. You can see there's tons of different stores and restaurants. And there's also this cool like waterfall well thing. You can flip coins and make a wish. Do you have a coin? Uh, I wish I had a coin. So we're here finally at the hotel where Sleep No More is going to take place. We're going to get dinner here beforehand. Jeff got a really fruity purple drink called Sleep No More. I just got some scotch. Cheers to your purple fruity drink. How is it? It's got lavender in there. So we're about to go to sleep no more. We're waiting in line. There's no filming allowed inside because they want to be really secretive. There's a lot of cool stuff going on. Everyone kind of knows how Macbeth ends, but I guess everything's kind of different. It's a modern twist on it. So it'll be interesting to see, but not allowed to film. So we're just going to sleep no more. What did you think about it? Disappointing. You didn't care for it. Okay. I like everything about it except that they got blood on my, my perfectly white shirt right here. It's by the way, it's the, the shirt I had after your wedding. I hope that comes out. You should really give a warning before the play that there's blood involved. So, no spoiler alerts, but basically when we went up in the elevator, Jeff and I had different numbers. I had an 8, and he had a 9, and they were trying to separate us. And we, Jeff said, oh, I'll pretend I'm going to eat the in the elevator with you. And then in the elevator, they stopped at a floor before the top floor, and they picked me out, specifically pulled me out of the room. So I was completely on my own in the beginning of this experience, which maybe made me like it a little bit more. But I also saw some key scenes that Jeff missed, and that, I think, was the biggest challenge, because there are like three or four key scenes in it that, unless you're following it, you're kind of missing the main story. You had to explore on your own. It was pretty big. Did you see anything that was like you with three or four just people and not like a whole group? Yeah. Physical things. I'd say like my favorite parts were the moments where it was like me and only a few people versus a giant crowd of people. But there was a murder scene that was done really well done with uh, a strobe light. And that had a lot of people, but I was very close to it. The entire time I was concerned about getting blood on my shirt, I was like, oh, I didn't get any spots. And then you just pointed out on the tray, right here. Um, it was cool how we got to take our masks with us. It felt like 
from the beginning there should have been more music. It's kind of weird they were using Vertigo, uh, Bernard Herrmann music, when you first enter. And for Play That's Supposed to be Original, it seemed very weird for them to be using this classic Hitchcock score. But I had a good time. Alright, you had a good time? It was, it was worth doing once. Did you say it's more like Eyes Wide Shut or more like Macbeth? More like Eyes Wide Shut. I agree. Mixed with Resident Evil. So if you like Eyes Wide Shut, definitely check this out. If you like Macbeth, I don't know. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. You guys say peace. Good night.